So we are finally getting to the long-awaited, much-requested tour of our RV. All right, welcome to our travel trailer, which we have enduringly named Heisenberg to go along with our truck, Walter White. As we make our way through the trailer, I want to point out a few things. I'll try to differentiate between uh, things that came with the trailer or things that we've added. We've definitely added a lot of little things to make travel more convenient or just to make everything a little easier to use and um, just to make everything a little more livable. Uh, we'll take you around th from the bedroom to the kitchen, dining room, living room, the bunk area, pet area, and then probably the bathroom last. That all makes it sound like a really big space, but as you make your way through, you'll see everything is right next to each other. In the bedroom, we have a sliding barn door. Just a little, the little separation between the master and the rest of the house. Um, over here, we have a few hooks that we've added. So we're a big fan of command hooks and we use them all over the place. The hooks or the Velcro on either side of the queen size bed, we have a little closet. I'll show you my side. So we have a small closet. Uh, it's actually fairly deep. It goes all the way back to that wall. So we, I roll up pants and put them in the, in the back corner there. I throw hats, extra stuff. Um, these are actually super handy. These are drawer separators. So I'll show you where I use those, but um, we have a few extras that we'll put to use later on. The drawers, super handy. They're fairly deep. Here's where I use the separators and they're good for holding things like Reese's peanut butter cups. Two drawers. Again, I use a separator, kind of allows you to stack up your clothing and make use of the whole height. And then above the bed, we have two other storage areas. Mostly use it for blankets, sweatshirts, stuff that we don't access all the time. Uh, I keep my like bike shorts up there, some GoPro stuff. We have some storage, very heavily used storage. On either side of the bed, there's a little cubby that has an outlet and so two outlets actually and two usb plugs so we use that for our phone chargers um that's usually about it there is also a light above the bed either side reading lights and then we have our like i said we like command hooks this is our in bed television just snaps on there like so even though the wall actually has a tv backer location where you can mount a tv and outlets on the ceiling. I use this to charge the GoPro. We generally just use that um, tablet as a television. So again, a few other command hooks. And I use this generally for clothing. I put the GoPro here and a bunch of different hats here. We keep the laundry basket over here as well and show you what we use for laundry. So we have one that's pretty full right now. And we have these collapsing laundry baskets. So very handy. You end up having to go to the laundromat, bring everything, carries everything. Yeah, I think that's about it in here. There is a, a setup over here that's actually wired for a second AC, but for now it's just a skylight. All right, follow me into the living space. So over here we have the, it's actually a U-shaped dinette, which was one of the things we looked for when we were buying the trailer. Um, we thought, oh yeah, that's going to be great. We'll have extra seating in the back wall. Um, however, it turned out not to be very convenient. So pretty tight and almost impossible to get anybody back there to sit on this bench that actually goes back there when we're driving. And also when this table is out enough for you to sit there, there's no way to extend those feet high enough to make it actually level. So we could use two by fours or, you know, rig something to make that work. But in the end, we just use these benches and that stays out as a footrest. This can actually sleep, they say three, but I think it could sleep two comfortably. The table collapses and these cushions then cover the table. So under the, each of the uh, kitchen benches, dining benches, there is extra storage. You can access it through here, but of course it goes all the way back. So to make that a little more convenient, the bottom part just can be lifted like this. One of the things we added, um, because we do all of our work here, we do school and um, I'm a programmer by trade. So my nine to five job is sitting in front of a computer. So we actually added this extension cord because the plug is down there under the table. It's just a little inconvenient to get to. So 
three-way extension cord does the trick. We also have some decorations. And on this trip, because it is December and almost Christmas, we have some Christmas decorations, our Charlie Brown tree, and the runner that my mom made. Thanks, Mom. Looks like we need a command strip over here. All right, let's make our way to the kitchen. Hey, we're at the kitchen. Okay, we have Honey Bunch's ice maker. Never leave home without it. This whole uh, table part actually collapses. And it's not locked right now. <laughs> it's never fallen down on us, but uh, do you want to make sure that these things are locked? But this will collapse down for easy passage. And when the slide is in, it'll actually go all the way to here which makes you unable to go through this doorway, but we are lucky to have two entrances, one to the bedroom and one to the main area. So normal kitchen sink, it does have a pull down sprayer. We have a little espresso machine. Thanks honey bunch. The stove is just a three burner stove. It's pretty small, a little inconvenient if you have to use all three burners at the same time, but it does the trick. Have a little lighting. And it also has a fan. Um, if you want this fan to actually work as a fan, you actually do have to open a vent on the outside that has little latches and stays closed. We didn't know that for the first two years of living here. We have a tiny little microwave. Probably gets used um, almost a daily, on a daily basis. Things that we've added, a little splash cover. And on this trip, we actually just got a little mat. So if you have something hot, you can lift it up with this and take it out. There's a little bit of storage up here. We pretty much just use this for kitchen towels. And then we have cabinets. So in the cabinets we have, and we've actually pared down quite a bit recently because uh, we went a little overboard to begin with. So we started out with a bunch of plastic plates and bowls. Um, they turned out to be, they were cheap. They were only like a dollar a piece, but they tend to melt when you put hot stuff on them and it just doesn't make it feel like home. So like I've said in some of our previous videos, the more uh, it feels like home, the more your cooking experience is just like cooking at home, the more you're going to use this stuff. So a couple plates, a couple bowls, extra storage for leftovers, mixing, and that's about it. The girls actually just invested in these little bento boxes for the road. So they'll pack those up before a drive day. And then we either run in here to eat or they just eat while we're driving. We did add this um, in the past. We had a countertop uh, paper towel holder. Not very convenient. As you can see, countertop space is pretty limited, especially when you have an espresso machine and an ice maker. So this just has adhesive. It sticks up there, frees up the space. When we drive though, we do need to either take this down or kind of secure it in a way because it tends to be completely unrolled when we come back. In the cabinets, storage containers, are highly useful. So we have a bunch of spices, things that we cook with. It's kind of like an earthquake back here when we're driving, so better secured or isolated things are, uh, the less of a mess you're gonna have when you come back. So we have a couple other seasonings and sauces, extra cups, mugs, and a good measuring cup. We used to have like a little plastic measuring cup and it kind of deteriorated, got hard to read, so. So we just invested in a Pyrex measuring cup and like I said, most of the stuff is the same kind of stuff we would use at home, which makes our cooking experience that much better. A couple silverware drawers, measuring spoons, mixing spoons, spatulas, knives, a little frother. And then on the bottom we have a gigantic drawer, which has, we keep our cutting board here, still looking for a better place to, to store this. Um, pots and pans, some um, strainers. We also have a tea kettle and a toaster. And we have the smallest baking pan known to man because we have the smallest oven known to man. Can hardly fit anything in there. We've never really used it. Um, you know, maybe we could bake some cookies, but I've seen in other trailers, the, the grate is actually, or the shelf is actually a little lower 
This is as low as this one goes, so that's about the best we can get with this one. And then under the sink, we have cleaning supplies. Again, storage containers. At times we had all this stuff just stacked up here, but it would all be tipped over. Some of it would be spilled when we got to our destination. So we have learned to make use of containers. Ziploc bags, cling wrap, aluminum foil, and then we have cleaning supplies down on the bottom, garbage bags. You end up having a pretty small garbage can in the trailer, which means you end up using a lot of garbage bags. And then we also just store drinking water. We usually just keep one out here, the one that we're using, and then the extra stay in there. All right, so moving on to the fridge. First, we have our traveling ginger, which we got when we became KYD insiders. KYD is keep your daydream. Uh, I'd say probably the people that are most responsible for our RV life craziness and our motivation to start a YouTube channel as well. Thanks, KYD. In the freezer, we have you know, some basics. There's a shelf on the door, two shelves. The freezer can either be electric or propane. It switches back and forth automatically, um, and we haven't had any issues with it. There's a large variety of refrigerators that you can get in trailers. Some of them are 12 volt powered, uh, which means it'll be cooled just by being plugged into your truck. The fridge is pretty small. Some of them do come without these fins and you can actually, in larger rigs, you can get residential size refrigerators. So this one does a good job. We have a lot of door storage. These flip up, especially when you're driving to keep things from falling out. And uh, we haven't really had too many incidents. Occasionally a soda will explode just due to the shaking. But um, for the most part, it's, it's worked the way it's supposed to. And then down here we have a little extra storage, some extra containers, napkins, bag clips, giant playing cards. And this isn't the most convenient thing, but at the bottom we have this is actually bottle storage for bottles of wine. We don't have any bottles of wine right now. Um, but the inconvenient thing is that it doesn't open when that rug is there. <laughs> Layla. Good girl. Moving along to the pantry and entertainment center. So we have a decent sized TV. It is extremely crooked. Bothers me a lot. Um, keep the cat medicine up here so our cat has some daily medical needs that we have to tend to. Behind here, this is also something I don't love. This actually is glass that sits on this metal and it has opened up while we're driving. So um, I think that could have been designed a little differently and possibly just a flip up would be better. But over here we have DVD player um, and also the sound system. There are two speakers that are connected here, which we also have connected to the TV. We don't really use the DVD player except when we're boondocking. Um, it's a smart TV, so we can, when we're connected and using Starlink, we can play Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever. Um, in here we just also keep one our DVDs, a couple cookbooks, and we have a big bin of remotes. So we've got remotes for candles, we've got remotes for a light strip that we have over there, TV, DVD player, uh, the electric heater that we have down here. The pantry. One thing we added were these motion sensor lights, especially in the evening or early in the morning. It can be really dark in there, but those motion sensor lights are great. They're just magnetic. They pop off, they're rechargeable, and you can control the brightness. And uh, yeah, they generally stay charged for the entire trip. And then before each trip, we just charge them up. Kylie uses these two drawers as clothing dresser drawers. And then down here is kind of miscellaneous storage. I keep some tools or some of the things we bought recently, like separators for pots and pans and plates and bowls. This is actually closed off down here. I'll show you, it's actually a storage compartment at the bottom where we keep our shoes. And then this is the electrical panel. Behind this is the power converter that I've been talking about. We actually had to take this, and I say we, Brad from On The Trail Again repairs, mobile repairs, took all this out, replaced the power converter behind there, put it all back nicely. 
and he did a great job. Our power has been working wonderfully ever since then. Thanks, Brad. Jumping back over to the other side, we have two USB plugs. They come in handy. We usually have like a docking wireless charger that we keep up there. This is a sofa bed. Um, it's probably the most uncomfortable sofa bed that you've ever slept on. Uh, we haven't actually slept on it, but we do pull it out for movies every now and then. Um, if we had it to do all over again, we would get the other option that they have for this trailer, which is two reclining seats that have like cup holders. Some of them have um, wireless chargers or USB plugs, but we're stuck with the sofa bed for now. And it's not attached to anything. It's actually something that's easy enough to remove and replace. But at this point, we're going to stick with it until we get our next rig. This is the bench that goes in the back of the dining room. Uh, makes it the U-shaped dinette that we never use. So instead it stays out here as a footrest and it's also storage. So we keep blankets, cleaning supplies, dog jackets, just miscellaneous stuff in there. All right, one of our favorite things to travel with is a vacuum cleaner, especially with pets. So yeah, with cat and dog, there is a lot of hair that we need to clean up, so we probably vacuum on a daily basis. And then we have the electric heater that Honey Bunch bought. At first I thought, that's silly, why do we need an electric heater? We have a propane heater and this is just another thing we have to carry. Especially on this trip, where it's been almost down to freezing almost every night, um, propane goes really fast. We'll go through a 20 pound propane tank in a week or less if we're using it full time. So. As long as the weather is above freezing outside, we can use the electric heater and save our propane. Okay, over here, this is the other entrance, the main one that we use uh, for the trailer. We just have the control panel. This is where you can turn on and off your lights, interior, exterior. Turn on the pump when we're boondocking and not on city water. The water heater has gas and electric modes. We're generally on electric even when we're boondocking because we stay connected to our truck generator. Um, and then this gives you your tank levels as well, and your battery level, which, as I pointed out earlier, thanks Brad, we never stayed all the way charged for an entire trip. Um, and then two other switches that are to retract and extend the awning and to slide the slide out in and out. Up here we have a medicine cabinet, uh, first aid, and we also keep our headlamps up there. Headlamps are a super handy thing when you're camping. Um, even though we have lights all over here, when we take the dog on a walk at night and any time we need to get something out of the truck in the evening, the headlamps get used. Hooks, generally keep our keys up here. Jackets, dog harness, dog leash. And then at the bottom we have a little storage area down here. It's also a heat outlet, so we keep our shoes here, but in the winter, when you put your shoes on, they're nice and warm. So the bathroom, actually one thing we use to tell if we're truly level is to see if this door goes either direction. Um, we do make use of the Level Mate Pro and we double check it sometimes with the bubble level just to make sure everything's still uh, calibrated properly. But having a door that doesn't close automatically is also a nice indicator of being level. All right, so the bathroom is functional. A few things we've added, again, command hooks for our towels. I don't know why they don't come with hooks for your towels, but that's something we added. They have storage compartments we use for towels, toilet paper, beauty supplies, extra beauty supplies. We have a new favorite method of storing our towels, and that is uh, folding them into a little pouch. That way, when we pull them in and out, because sometimes you just have to take stuff out to reach things behind them. Uh, when we put these back in, they don't come all unfolded and make a mess back there. Honey Bunch also invested in some, I guess these are magazine holders, but these work out well. It is kind of an awkward space. Like I said, it's very deep. It goes all the way back to the end of the shower. So pretty much, especially on the higher shelves, further than you can reach. Uh, but these things are great. Again, it's nice to have a little container for everything so that when you're driving, it um, everything doesn't unravel and spill out everywhere. All right, so standard toilet. It flushes with a foot flush. And one of the upgrades on this trip actually was a soft closed toilet lid. 
the shower. Just a little piece of vinyl here, but um, again, very functional. Come on in here, we added we added little hooks again, command strips, command hooks. Added those up there for our loofahs. We did replace this sh original shower head with this. Uh, we bought it at Home Depot, it was like 40 bucks in one of our earlier videos I showed the replacement process, which was literally just unscrewing this here and adding, putting the new one in, it was great. Um, minimal shelves on this side, we have a little more storage. Um, it did come with a toilet paper holder that you can add to the wall, but there doesn't really seem to be a convenient place to put it that wouldn't end up you know, knocking it or running into it. A couple more cabinets down here. These are very narrow, so we don't fit a whole lot in there. And then the under sink storage, another garbage can. And then the medicine cabinet also has a little bit of storage behind it. Be careful when opening this after a drive day because some things tend to make their way forward and jump out at you when you open it. And then I just keep my toiletries up there. We do have to remember to move that before we start driving as well. Two areas left. Any questions about anything or how we live in here or any suggestions, we're totally open to them. We'd appreciate it. Uh, feel free to use the comment section and we'll always reply to you. And uh, we'd love to have a conversation about how you set up your rig and how we can get better at setting up our rig. So down here, we have the animal area and Special K. So in the animal area, we have Lucy Lou, the cat. We have Layla's bed. Unfortunately, we have to travel with a litter box. I don't know why she can't be like the dog and just go on walks, but she tends to want to stay in the trailer. Behind the litter box, we have cat food, dog food, and then a ukulele, some other random stuff that Kylie brought. Computer, necessary for Kylie's online school that she does. And then uh, actually some more storage for Kylie. Uh, more clothing in there. Another drawer of clothing. Keep the cat bowl up there. Uh, Layla likes to get into the cat food, so we have to keep that out of reach. Lucy sleeps here. Unless it gets really cold, sometimes it's a little chilly next to that window and we'll find her out over on the couch. And then we just keep our dog food and cat food up here as well. Uh, one thing we did invest in is a spill-proof water bowl. That works really well. And then, Layla, you want your bone? Come here. Get your bone. Go to your bed. Good girl. Here you go. Get your bone. Okay, good girl. And last but not least, we have Special K's Sanctuary. Kylie, are you decent? Come here. <laughs> All right, Hi. Kylie. Take it this away. This is my bedroom, or this is my little loft area. I added these lights. They can change color and stuff. And I also added this um, shelf to just um, hold my phone and hold some other stuff. This is actually a bottom bunk, and it came with a, uh, a piece of plywood that's on a hinge that flips up so that you can use this for storage and flip it down and use it as an actual bunk. Since we're not using it as a bunk, we've given Kylie double mattresses. Actually three mattresses. We have the original mattress, a mattress pad, and then the mattress that belongs on the bottom bed. <laughs> well, thanks for sticking with us. I know that was kind of a long tour. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to put them in the comments. We'll always reply right away, and we look forward to getting suggestions from you as much as hopefully you've learned from us. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.